Put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to Good morning, place. viewers, and welcome back to the Tobago Updates Morning Show, coming to you here live from the Fort Wall in Scarborough, Tobago. In this segment, viewers, we are chatting with Richard Ford, author and poet, as we speak about 22 virtues to you, for you to pursue. Yes. All right. Good morning and welcome to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me here. All right. So as we get the conversation started, Richard Ford, yes. I want you to start. Give us a little uh, insight. A quick, who is Richard Ford? Okay, Richard Ford is a poet, right? I did a social studies assignment back in school, right? That was in like second form, bishops I went to. And that assignment, I chose to do a poem for it now. And thereafter, my classmates called me Shakespeare and I took the name serious and I decided to actually get into poetry. And going forward, I decided to write my book. Very interesting. So f from as early as possible, and it's important to take note of these uh, things, that simply cued you and gave you that inspiration um, in yes. terms of that's the direction that you want to go. Uh, tell us uh, in terms of the book, 22 Virtues for You to Pursue. Um, I know you said it's not just a book. Um, tell us a little bit about, about it. Okay, 22 Virtues for You to Pursue by Richard Ford. It's actually a poetry book, right? It's a book of virtues, you know. We need some kind of guidance in life sometimes, you know, you feel like your soul missing something. This book is just some virtues that you would want to apply to your life, okay? There are virtues like hope, kindness, you know, forgiveness, love, patience, you know, things that anybody could want to acquire to be in life. What would have been your inspiration um, in terms of particularly this, uh, this book? Okay. Um, I want to do poetry in terms of storylines, right? right? I want to do books where I'm doing stories, but I'm in poetically. But I told myself I'll start with something simple. This is my first book I'm publish I've published, March 29th. So I told myself, let me go with some basic concepts that I could get people to understand where I'm coming from, and then we could go further from there. For somebody looking on and having that kind of, you know, um, you know, I, I always probably wanted to have my first book published. Tell us a little bit about, you know, what kind of time frame and effort went into this to be able to get to that point to publish uh, in March? How, how, how long before that did it start? I had this idea about three years now, you know. And to be honest, this book could be published in three months. I procrastinated over the time and I just told myself that I have to do it and get it out of the way. I have to actually do it. Stop thinking about it. Stop planning to do it. Actually do it. The first step came with writing the poems. You know, you want to do a book, but if you never t put pen to paper, you really don't want to write something, right? So yes. that is where it started. So would that be part of your message for persons looking on, you know, who might be in the same? I know sometimes some of my colleagues into writing would say, Julian, I have to be in that space. I have to be in that kind of um, headspace. I know yes. you refer to it sometimes as procrastinating. What would be your advice, um, you know, to persons looking on who may have a similar kind of aspiration, but really just thinking, just as you're saying, uh, taking their time with it? Right. Try, try to be as active as possible. And in terms of, okay, you know to yourself, you want to do something. Everything has steps A before you reach the Z, right? There are basic things that we need to get out of the way before we think about the larger goals, right? So you need to put yourself under some pressure too, okay. I don't know exactly what the process is, but if I start this, I'm sure I could get somebody to give me some information on what the next step may be. Yeah, they have something to work with. And as I'm saying so. All right, excellent. Where can persons access this book that would have been published as at March of 2023? All right, this book is available online on Amazon, right? You just have to type in 22 virtues for you to pursue on Amazon and it will come up. Also, I'm working with education to get it into some high schools as well, maybe to be used with the moral education syllabus, right? Because that type of book. Type of book. All right, also, you know, I want to get into Sharon's and Niger American bookstore and that kind of thing. So, all right. So you're working in terms of pushing it out there. And Definitely. tell us very quickly as well. What cost does the does the book come at? The book comes at the cost of one hundred and twenty dollars. All right. One twenty so TT. One hundred and twenty TT for twenty two virtues for you to pursue. Yes. Certainly, um, the the package is going to on, be online, much more. Yes. Online, however, is twelve ninety nine for the book and the ebook. Because you could get it on, you could download the ebook as well. That would be fifteen ninety nine US. Oh. Right, but once you order a physical copy, 
15. that persons ask. Before we wrap this morning's interview, I want you to include contact information. How can persons reach out to you? For those that may see you here and probably want to have you, you know, at a school, uh, a library affair, something that's taking place and say, hey, it's a good thing to have a perspective from somebody who is new um, in this realm. How can persons reach out to you and uh, make contact with you? Okay, on all my social media, you could find me at Plasma, the poet, Plasma is in the TV, P-L-A-S-M-A, T-H-E Poet, 868, right? I'm on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all the social media. You could find me there at Plasma the Poet, 868. All right. In closing, Richard, your words of encouragement um, to all looking on. All right. My words of encouragement to anyone looking on is challenge yourself. Get yourself accustomed to being in a situation where you're forced to do something out of the norm. Try not to be as comfortable all the time because there's growth in discomfort. Sometimes you need to shed off certain things just for your progress to happen. So right. challenge yourself. Excellent. And I'll add in here and remember to get yourself a copy uh, yes, of the book. Right. <laughs> All right. Yes. Certainly. Thank you so much, uh, Richard, for an author and a poet. 22 virtues for you to pursue. Yes. Uh, get your copy, get your copy, and certainly the opportunity to be able to benefit uh, from the poems that will be found uh, within and now available for purchase on Amazon.com. All right. Yes. Thank you so much, Richard Ford, for joining us here on set. Because we want to thank you. We want to thank you so much for the continued love and support. And more importantly, we we want to thank you for choosing the Tobago Updates morning show each and every day. All right. We look forward to connecting with you tomorrow. Uh, but just to remind you, folks, before we head on out, we want you to stay tuned as we head on into Tobago Notes and then straight over to GMT. All right. So take care, folks, and have a great day. Bye bye.